Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at the Boxy Box from D-Link. In this episode specifically, we're going to show you how to set up your Boxy Box. The first step, of course, is to take it out of the packaging. Because the Boxy Box has a slightly strange design, it also is a little bit strange inside the box as well, even though the outside of it is perfectly cubed. You open up the top compartment, find the finger holds, and grab the Boxy and pull it straight up. Then you can take out the entire insert. Underneath you see two other compartments, one of which has the remote control and the other one which has the power. Once it's unpacked, the first thing you need to do, of course, is take the Boxy box and put it next to your television set. You can connect it to the back of your TV set and to the back of the Boxy using an HDMI cable. Then you can take the power brick that comes with the Boxy box, connect it to the back of the Boxy box, and then plug the other end into the wall. If you're going to use an Ethernet cable to connect directly to your network, you can do that at this point. Connect one end to the Boxy box and the other end into your network. Then you're ready to fire it up for the first time, so press the power button on the top of the box. Then it'll go through the boot sequence, and the first thing you should see is BoxyBox asking you to align your screen properly. You'll see a couple arrows, one in the top left and one in the bottom right of your screen. Use the selector buttons on your remote control to align the top left arrow first, then press the select button, then align the bottom right arrow, and then press select. This will make sure that your screen is optimized so that you have the best viewing experience. The next thing you'll see is Boxy asking you for your account information, which you can set up at Boxy.tv if you like, or you can set it up right here on the box. The only thing is if you haven't connected to the Ethernet port on the back of the Boxy box and connected directly into your internet, then you will have to set up the wireless first before this will work. So even if you do enter your account information at this point, you will still get an error. So scroll down to the bottom to the networking section if you have to. When you go to the networking option, it'll scan for local Wi-Fi networks in your area. And you can go down and scroll the for the one that you want using the remote control and then select it. Enter in your password, and then you should be connected to the internet. Then go back and complete your account setup on the Boxy Box, or if you haven't already set up an account on Boxy.tv, you can do so right here from the screens. Now, if you already had an account and you just entered your information here, it'll bring in all of your contact information, subscriptions, all of the things that your friends have been watching, everything that you already have access to on your regular Boxy account. If not, it's time to start populating this yourself. And before you're done, though, it'll ask you one more key question, and that's whether you plan to get most of your content from the web, i.e. YouTube and other such websites, or from the files that you already have on your local computers or your hard drives. Which one you choose will determine what you actually see on the Boxy menu when you go through to one of the options on the main home screen. Now, if you choose the wrong one, don't worry about it too much. You can go back and fix this later on in the settings. Now, if you don't have a lot of files on your home network, the best choice is going to be the web, because that'll allow you to go to YouTube and select all of the things from other Boxy partners that are already loaded into the box. You can still go and get your files from your network, even if you choose the web option, but it will give you a much nicer user interface right off the bat if you choose that, and you don't already have a lot of files at home. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you how to use some of the other functions on the Boxy box, and don't forget to check out the show notes for this and the other parts of the series at butterscotch.com.